what is the film Dancing Through Little Tokyo about? It's about uh, my returning to my Japanese roots. And, and actually, I had, a, I had a film about my 100-year-old classical Japanese dance teacher. And in the end, she nixed it because it told too much. And I had to come up with, a, with another film in a hurry. And I, I was readily available. And I decided on an interesting story because I wanted to return. I'm half Japanese, and so I wanted to kind of explore my culture. I decided dance would be a good way to do it. So I, 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 it, it talks about my exploring uh, folk dance, classical dance, and even um, a form of Elvis dance. Oh, very cool. In Little Tokyo, there's a group called Elvis Obon Jivers, and they become uh, uh, a regular part of Obons and of the parade. People look forward to them and miss them when they're not there. But you get a chance to catch glimpses of them you know, in the film, and I got to join them a little bit for some fun. Well, in this film, is this dapper dressed gentleman in it as well? What's the, what's the story behind this outfit tonight? No, actually, um, we do another, you know, kind of like dancing. This is me and him, you know, also. Yeah, we perform Japanese uh, classical dance, you know, but not in this film. Yeah, right? But he's, he's sort of, of a dance consultant. He's also a retired yeah. fashion designer. And uh, so he's, he always ha he, he's always has input creatively. Uh, uh, in, in shooting the film, which I really appreciated. Did he have input on the wardrobe? Um, indirectly, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, just his presence there, he always helps select things uh, and, and give his input, and, and that's really valuable. And we find everything turns out better when Peter's involved. Well, Peter, I don't know if I have this authority, but I am declaring you the best dressed man on the red carpet, best dressed person. Can you give us, what are some of your tips to be the best dressed on the red carpet? What outfits do you need? Of course, you wear something, be yourself. It doesn't matter that people like it or hate it. Just, you know, and wearing it and then show the world, you know, and, but you enjoy the most, you know, so. Well, you've definitely done that. Congratulations, very nice. And congratulations on the film. Now, how can let we... Mention, yeah. Let me mention, you can find out more about Peter. And I tell this story in a short film I did a couple of years ago. And it's, it's uh, public on YouTube. It's called Fantasy Come True, Peter Lies Japanese Village. And I really urge you to check it out because you'll learn a lot more about Peter and his history and what he's up to.